Zach here and welcome back to another full day of eating. So currently it's 4.42. I'm running a little late to the gym, but uh, we're about to go hit a back workout. I'm about to take my, take my pre-workout as well as my vitamins for, for the day. And then uh, after we get done with the workout, uh, we're gonna go, or we're gonna come back home and then I'm gonna show you guys the first meal of the day. Today is back day like I mentioned before. Be sure to, you know, give the workout a try and also follow me on Instagram at Zach Sims Fitness. So by the time you're seeing this video, that the workout is probably already posted on Instagram, but uh, be sure to give it a try. But uh, I get asked this question all the time and that is how to bring up like a weak or lagging body part. And that's exactly what I'm doing today. So for me, I'm really trying to focus on bringing out the thickness in my back. So I'm really focusing on my mid to upper back. So one thing I'm gonna do is start this workout, start it off with, you know, a heavy rowing exercise to really emphasize that muscle group. And then another weak point of mine is trap. So I'm gonna follow that heavy rowing uh, movement with a shrug movement to really focus on those traps like I mentioned. And then uh, I wanna hit my rear delts. So I like to hit rear delts on back day. I do have a specific shoulder day, but I just like to hit rear delts two to three times per week. And that's another thing I'd recommend. If you have a weak or lagging body part, train that uh, body part two to three times per week. That's just gonna ensure you get enough volume throughout the week to really stimulate and make that muscle grow. But I'm gonna try to get in here and knock this workout out so I can get back to the house and make meal number one of this for baby. Appreciate that one. I think it's time to put them in their place I'ma have to set them straight You don't know me You don't know where I'm from Or what I had to do to get this play Hey, let me paint a picture Everybody dissing Acting like it wasn't cool to listen Now look at me I say now look at me Let me get it started Yo The rhyme's been the dumbest since day one Said I went this Then my mama said pray son I ain't got no hidden motors I'ma get a bullet fill it with some folders Then pull that until they wake up, straight up, the illest out the funk Illustrate my life, they gon' feel it when they thump I'm about to vent invest they come The time it took to get here was expensive and I spent it in the slums This rap is fast and quick I just spent 150 on some activists Tell me, why all y'all acting like? Y'all be living like it ain't no afterlife I'm tired of the week Listen, here I end your whole career if you sneak this, peep this People ain't understand I'm a prodigy Now they saying you gotta see, but I ain't really with apologies Now I got people calling me, talking about what they remember when Get the f*** out my face, y'all ain't with me back then Now I got people calling me, talking about what they remember when Get the f*** out my face, y'all ain't with me back then All right, so we just got back from the gym, and today I'm gonna be a little pressed for time, so I'm not gonna be able to cook a good breakfast. But what I am gonna do is have a one protein shake, as well as have two Greek yogurts. So, like I mentioned before, I am a little pressed for time. I do have to leave the house earlier than I normally would, so we're just gonna keep things quick and simple. Now, uh, if you're always in a rush and you're trying to get your protein in. Uh, one thing I'd recommend is obviously a protein shake. I mean, it's just super simple, super easy to make. Uh, 25 grams of protein, and then also get you some Greek yogurt. So, the brand I use is Okio's. To me, this tastes the best, but there's all kinds, of, all kinds of brands. And what's cool about these, they have like 15 grams of protein for just one of these. So two of them, we're looking at 30 grams of protein and I can consume that in like two minutes. Well, this whole meal is like 400 calories and we're looking at, we're looking at about, let's see, sorry, 56 grams of protein, 33 grams of carbs, and then four grams of fat. So uh, my strategy for today is to get as much protein in on this first meal as possible because we are going to go out and get something to eat for lunch. So when you go out to eat for lunch, 
especially at fast food restaurants, one of the main issues I find is it's hard to get your protein in. A lot of the foods, the food choices that they have is going to be very high in carbs and very high in fat and not too much protein. So uh, what we're trying to do today is go ahead and get in as much protein as we can and save our carbs and fats for later throughout the day. And normally your carbs and fats are going to be more enjoyable. So I like to go ahead and knock out as much protein as I can the first few hours of the day, a post-workout meal, and then I'll also have a snack. So we made it to work and uh, in case you guys don't know I am a subcontractor and uh, we do like remodels and add-ons and we build houses and stuff like that so let me show you guys what we're working on so yeah that's what we're doing today uh, we got to put the deck on the roof so, so I'm gonna be way up there today so wish me luck all right, so it's now lunchtime, and I'm about to go and get a bite to eat. Um, normally, I would eat my snacks uh, before lunch. I usually take like a little break, go eat a snack or something, but I didn't get to today. I'm gonna have two of these uh, protein bars, two of those oranges, and then a banana. And then I'll put the calories and macros on the screen. I can't really look at them right now and tell you guys what it is. So we're actually gonna head to Zaxby's show you guys what I get so the whole point of this video is I want to show you guys that you know you can go out to eat and still stay on track with your fitness goals and the main thing I want you guys to take away is you know track your calories and have a you know balanced diet you don't have to eat you know boring just plain uh, foods all the time you can go out to eat and enjoy yourself it's all about balance and it's all about you know keeping track of everything uh, just a sandwich uh, can I get a diet coat with that? Alright. Alright, thank you. Alright guys, so I just got a grilled chicken sandwich and I got a diet coat. Now I never get my calories from drinks, I always try to get water or zero calorie drinks and then uh, like I said I just got a grilled chicken sandwich because I don't want to eat too much because I think later tonight I was going to go out to eat. Alright guys so I just got back home from work it's a little after six o'clock right now and uh, I'm absolutely starving so I, uh, as you guys saw I really didn't eat a whole lot for lunch today uh, I was really planning on saving most of my calories for later this afternoon but what I'm going to do is make a homemade quesadilla. So I'm going to do a homemade quesadilla and all I'm going to do is I have 6 ounces of lean ground turkey. I'm going to do one of these tortillas. Then I'm going to make some sauce and the, really the main ingredient is going to be some light mayonnaise and some other things. And then also probably put a little cheese on there and I'll put the full macros uh, on the screen so you guys can check it out but uh, I asked Haley she wanted one and she didn't want one so me and her probably just go get something neat but I had to make me a quick little snack I just finished cooking and I'm gonna eat this real quick probably have another protein shake but man this thing is bueno so I did Ancestry.com and it turns out I'm actually 3% Hispanic. So that's why I can cook quesadillas so good. Not <laughs> just playing. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna probably I'm gonna eat this and probably do a protein shake like I mentioned. And then uh, me and Haley are gonna go out to eat. And I'll probably have a pretty big meal. But I was just absolutely starving because I didn't eat nearly enough for lunch. But I was just trying to save some calories for this afternoon. I figured we'd go out anyway so. so me and Haley are going to get something to eat tonight and uh, I got her to stop by the store and I got one of these core powers this is the elite 42 it has 42 grams of protein uh, I mentioned in my last clip I was probably gonna make a protein shake but honestly I was too lazy and just didn't feel like making one so I just stopped by the store and got one of these 
and then uh, like I said we're going to a local restaurant we like to eat at and I'll show you guys what I get there. Alright guys, so the food just came out. Let me show you what we got. So this is what I got. And then here's Haley's. <laughs> Today's our cheat day. But uh, appreciate it. But yeah, we're going to enjoy this meal and then I'll catch you guys in the next clip. And I'm also going to kind of guesstimate uh, the calories because I don't have my food skill. I'm just going to guesstimate and put the calories on the screen, but we'll catch you guys in the next clip. Alright guys, so we just got done finished. Uh, one thing I'd recommend when you go out to eat is just kind of guesstimate and do the best you can. Uh, you're not going to have a food scale unless you bring it with you. <laughs> but that's a little extreme. <laughs> that's a little extreme to bring your food scale to a restaurant. Uh, You've done it before? I have done it before. But, uh, you know, it's just not something normal people would do. So, <laughs> just kind of guesstimate. So, like that meal, that chicken breast is probably around 6 to 8 ounces. And I just kind of guesstimate. And then... I probably guesstimate about 200 calories uh, from all the vegetables and the salad. That's probably a little high, but I also had ranch on it. But yeah, that concludes this full day of eating. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I uh, hope it was entertaining and helpful. If it was, be sure to uh, drop a like. Also, comment uh, what else you want to see and then subscribe for more. Peace. Yes. <laughs>